What's going on everyone and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 speculation video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about the possibility of some of the Jedi Fallen Order new characters, new troopers, all that kind of stuff coming in Battlefront 2 as like a Jedi Fallen Order season which could possibly be released after the release of Jedi Fallen Order. But before we get fully into this video, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to see any Jedi Fallen Order content that we've seen so far from the reveal of the game in Battlefront 2. Make sure to smash a like on this video as well to show support for Battlefront 2 on the channel. And if you are new, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all Battlefront 2 and Jedi Fallen Order and all those Star Wars games content. But now, let's get into the topic of this video. So one thing I'm going to point out before we even get properly into what I think could come into the game and what would be cool, this has already been touched on slightly by Jay Ingram on Twitter. Now he is one of the communication guys for EA Star Wars and Dre, or still Dre00, tweeted Jay on Twitter saying, is it possible to have Cal, the new character from Fallen Order, in Battlefront 2 before the game is even released or is that too much to ask for? Now Jay replied saying, I don't think we'd add main hero characters to Battlefront 2 in any situation unless they were out in their medium first out of respect for the creators. I don't think it would be fair to add Cal to Battlefront 2 before Respawn got to release the character they've worked for years on. So we're definitely not going to see any Fallen Order content in Battlefront 2 before Fallen Order is even released on November 15th, 2019. But once the game is released and we get a better look at Cal, the other characters in the game, the main antagonists, the other side characters or troopers or whatever you want to call them, the locations, what could actually come to the game? Now there's a couple of things from the trailer and the reveal which I think would be cool to see in Battlefront 2. These are mainly characters and troopers but a couple of locations which I think would be cool to see as well that we got to see in the trailer. Now the first and main one is Cal Kettis. He is the main character you get to play as in Jedi Fallen Order so he's obviously going to have some really cool powers in the game and I think it would be pretty sweet if we got him as a hero in Battlefront 2 in the same way we got Aiden Versio as a hero in the game since she was the main character we played as in the Battlefront 2 campaign. Now obviously we know nothing about the character at all really in terms of what he can do with a lightsaber and what he can do with a force so we can't speculate yet at all about any abilities he may or may not have. However, I do think he would obviously have a lightsaber since he is a lightsaber wielding character in Fallen Order. And I just think it would be a really cool tie-in if Respawn did allow DICE to create Cal and put him in Battlefront 2 for fans of Fallen Order to actually play as. And I think it could also boost Fallen Order if he was advertised a bit in Battlefront 2 and I think it could boost Battlefront 2 if he was advertised by Fallen Order. But moving on, the second character which I think would be cool in Battlefront 2 as a hero would be the second sister or the Inquisitor who is the main antagonist in Fallen Order. Now we get to see her briefly and they did say at the reveal that she is very clever and some of her force powers that she gets in Battlefront 2, if she was to arrive, could be really quite intriguing. We get to see her control one of the ships in the trailer for Fallen Order with the force so maybe she could have an ability which allowed her to affect vehicles or something like that or to pull them around or move them and in some concept art we actually get to see her have a double bladed lightsaber and I think it would be cool to see another villain or hero in the game who wields a double bladed lightsaber and again I think it would be good advertisement for Fallen Order if they allowed their characters to be used in Battlefront 2 and I think it could boost Battlefront 2 if the Fallen Order characters were put in there as heroes so personally I'd like to see it happen. Now I've seen one main sort of trooper or character or whatever you want to call them in the Fallen Order trailer which I think could be a cool reinforcement in Battlefront 2 and those are the Purge Troopers. Now the reason I say this is because they do wield an Electro Staff or whatever you want to call it which shows and it shows in the trailer that they do fight Jedis with like a melee weapon which I think would be really cool rather than having reinforcements which just use blasters we could have a reinforcement that actually uses a melee weapon like this Electro Staff to take on Jedis one on one. And we've also seen in a recent update that the commando droid does actually have a vibral blade ability which allows them to attack Jedis one on one with a melee weapon. So I don't think it's impossible to think that reinforcements in Battlefront 2 could actually have a melee weapon. And I think it would be really cool to see the Purge Troopers in there since they seem to be a big hit at the reveal of Jedi Fallen Order. They piqued a lot of people's interests. Now one of the locations I saw in the trailer which I thought could be a really cool map in Battlefront 2 depending on how the location actually is in Jedi Fallen Order was where we got to see the scavenger clan or scavenger group or whatever you want to call them taking apart 
the downed Republic Star Destroyers, which have been decommissioned for parts. Now, we don't really know much about this planet, and we don't really know much about the environment that is on the planet, but it looks like a really cool environment that could make for an insanely cool Battlefront 2 map, whether it be one of the small scale modes or one of the larger scale modes, I think it just could be quite a cool map, especially with all those Republic Star Destroyers around the map placed all over the place, maybe we could go inside some of them and actually fight inside them. We know they have the environments in Battlefront 2 already of some of these Star Destroyers, so it wouldn't be too hard to do, I don't think. And again, it would just be a really cool tie-in for Jedi Fallen Order to have some locations from the game in Battlefront 2 as maps in some sort of Jedi Fallen Order season for Battlefront 2. But that is pretty much all I picked up from the reveal trailer of Jedi Fallen Order, which I think could be really cool to see in Battlefront 2. Obviously, as more trailers come out for Jedi Fallen Order, we'll be able to go through them a bit more and pick out things that we'd like to see in Battlefront 2, whether they are heroes, blasters, villains, locations, reinforcements, vehicles, anything like that. Because we do know very little about the game and we've only seen one trailer and a few pieces of concept art which don't exactly show us much. But one thing I'm thinking of doing is making some concept art for the characters I've went over, Cal, the second sister and the Purge Troopers in Battlefront 2. So if you'd like to see that, make sure to let me know down in the comment section below because we are done for today's video. So like I said, let me know down in the comment section what you'd like to see from Jedi Fallen Order in Battlefront 2. And also let me know if you'd like to see some fan-made concept art of some of the characters from Fallen Order in Battlefront 2. Make sure to smash a like on this video if you have enjoyed it, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all Star Wars gaming videos. But other than that, we'll see you in the next video.